A second appearance in a courtroom cage for Egypt's deposed president. Unlike before, now Mohamed Morsi is in the white suit all prisoners must wear. And again, he questions the court's right to try him. Tell me who you are. Do you know where I am? I am the head of this court. Morsi was flanked in the cage by most of the leadership of the Muslim Brotherhood. It is now considered a terrorist organization. This Tuesday is a significant date in Egypt's recent history. It marks the third anniversary of the Friday of Rage, when hundreds of thousands of people took to the streets to protest against Hosni Mubarak. Now his successor, Mohamed Morsi, is charged over a mass jailbreak during that uprising. It's symbolic to look at the nature of the charges, the idea that there was a prison break that happened at the height of the revolution, at the time when the entire country uh, had really, or, or most of the el political elements within the country had mobilized against the Mubarak regime. Of course, now we see that this is now being called into question by the current regime that's really trying to roll in a counter-revolution. This trial is taking place less than 24 hours after the way was cleared for the current defense minister, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, to stand for the presidency himself. On Monday, he had been promoted to the highest military rank of field marshal and given a mandate by the armed forces to run for president. It was Sisi who deposed Morsi last July, with the promise that the military would not seek to rule Egypt and would instead ensure a stable and managed transition to democracy. Part of that promise included a commitment to end unrest and sporadic violence. But there was little evidence of that in the suburbs of Cairo on Tuesday morning, when a senior advisor at the Interior Ministry was shot dead in broad daylight. And in this atmosphere of violence and tension, Egypt now has two deposed presidents on trial in the same court while a man who served both of them in the military is expected to start his own campaign for the presidency. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera.